Hey everyone, I'm about 30 hours deep into Monster Hunter Worlds at the moment on the PlayStation 4 Pro. Um, and I have stumbled upon a really great armor set for all you great sword players out there. Um, I spent a lot of time in Monster Hunter Generations. Great sword was my weapon of choice. And I remember early in the game being very concerned in Generations about a particular armor set or combination of armor that I wanted to use. I think from memory I used the Buja Buja Boo set. Uh, to get that early attack uh, boost. Um, so I was curious to see what the early armor sets were available. Uh, and thankfully, I've actually found one particular armor set, uh, which I'm wearing now, and uh, my Palico is as well, that actually gives me everything that I would really want as a great sword user. Um, if we go into here, I'm Hunter rank 9 at the moment. I'm about 29, 30 hours into the game. Admittedly, uh, a few hours of that was purely because I was farming um, uh, some uh, some of the previous uh, monsters uh, up until I got into this one. Now you can see here I've got defense of 164, 10 fire, 10 water. Not doing too well against thunder and ice. Uh, but this particular build is the full Odugaron armor set. One thing, uh, like I said, I was pretty curious about with Monster Hunter Worlds is the combinations of armor that you would uh, tend to gravitate towards. Um, but one thing with Monster Hunter Worlds is the set bonus skills, and more importantly, the set bonus skills for complete armor, uh, for partially complete armor sets. So with most of these armor builds, if you have at least three, you will activate a skill set uh, for that particular armor set which is really really great and it's completely going to change the way that i'm going to be building my um my armor combinations because as long as you've got three of one particular type then the other two you can uh, mix and match you're never going to get the uh, two armor skill sets going on at once or maybe you will i'm only 30 hours into the game maybe there's a skill set that would allow you to do that i'm not quite sure but we'll uh hopefully we'll find out so Odagaron is a really nasty beast. Um, he, uh, the armor set here, as you can see, initially had uh, the, once you unlock and use all three, you've got a stun effect, which draws attacks and slightly increases attack power. That's always great, especially for a greatsword user, as I'm tending to want to get these beasts stunned or in a state of stun or entrapment so I can unlock my really big charge draws and attacks. Uh, the helm um, a helmet gives you bleed resistance. Now, um, Odagaron's primary um, attack is a bleed, um, so this is really, really handy. And I'm using a defense charm on this particular build because I'm past Odagaron, but with him, I would definitely recommend getting a bleed charm as soon as possible because between the bleeding resistance level one of the helmet, which you can usually unlock after your first one or two battles with him, just gets so, so much easier with that bleed charm and his helm. Uh, next on the charm, I've got my defense boost on this particular charm, but I was using a bleed um, uh, charm um, against him. Uh, the uh, what have we got here? The coils give you critical eye, which is increased infinity. Great, I'm always happy about that. Uh, what have we got here? The uh, van braces give you constitution, reduced uh, stamina depletion with performing stamina draining moves such as evading. Now, I'm a pure greatsword evade player. I never use block. I'm all about evade, knowing the animations and what the monster's going to be doing. So this is great for me because my stamina drops very, very quickly in terms of the sheathing, unsheathing and, and the evades. Really, really happy about this one. Um, let's see. For the Greaves, we've got speed up weapon sheathing. Again, with great sword users, you're never going to have your weapon out 100%. It's always, you know, sheathing, unsheathing, sheathing, unsheathing to um, to move around quickly. I think what turns a lot of people off about the great sword is that that um, the incorrect nature of using it, thinking you need to have it drawn all the time. I'm too slow. I'm always getting hit. No, it's, it's unsheath it. Oh, sheave it. And the fact that you've got the skill set is great. And then last but not least, we've got the sharpening, which speeds up whipping sharpening when using a whetstone. Now this is great because um, I am always liking to keep mine as sharp as possible. It's actually, it, it um, removes one entire cycle from the sharpening process. Um, it's given me the peace of mind and confidence to actually sharpen during a battle. I, you Previously, I was waiting until they scurry away and I had to find them again. Um, but now I can actually whip out the, um, the whetstone and get it done pretty quickly. So once I stumbled upon this particular set, I was actually really impressed. Again, as a great, as a great sword um, primary weapon user, it really has absolutely everything that I would want 
as a as a as a great sword main. Really, really, really impressed. Uh, and then I'm using here the uh, Flamenzan. Uh, what we might do, uh, let's quickly go over to the area so I, so I can show you what you need to build. Um, once you get to Odegaron, uh, honestly, it's, it's not going to take too long. Uh, maybe four or five um, uh, farming attempts from him. So let's get in here. We're going to forge equipment. We're going to go to armor. Uh, we're going to go down to Odegaron. So you've got the scales, the sinew, the claw. Now those are all just particular parts. The sinew are the back legs. Break them. Claws at the front, break them. Uh, fangs at the head, break them. Just as long as one particular farming cycle you're doing, if you're just concentrating on one particular area to attack, you should be fine. And again, his primary attack style is using that bleed. Um, so as long as you've got a bleed charm, and maybe the first thing that you should focus on is getting the helmet because it gives you that bleed resistance. I saw a noticeable improvement. Whereas bleed attacks would get me 80, 90% of the time, um, this one had dropped down to maybe 20 to 30%. Really, really effective. I totally recommend looking at that one first. Uh, and then, yeah, the, the, now the Hornetor wings are the only other thing that you need to. Oh, and Dragonite ore, um, obviously. But the Hornetor wings are these little bugs in the. the old, um, in Odegaran's area and what was confusing me initially is because of the power of my weapon these little buggers were exploding as soon as I hit them use your slinger slinger has uh, for the stones especially considerably less damage you will kill these little bugs but you won't destroy them that's the key you need to get and collect those particular shells and the wings and again it doesn't take too long i did it within about five or ten minutes in one area with about six or seven bugs they're not a rare drop uh, by any means but the finesse there is using the sting the slinger to attack them instead of your primary weapon because at this particular type level and especially with whatever weapon you might be using you're going to smash those bugs as soon as you can uh, so yeah, it doesn't take too much to collect all of this. Like you, as you can see here, these are my leftover pieces. Um, farming for um, particular um, uh, particular parts of the Odegara. All of this can be found in one particular area, and it's a surprisingly solid armor set specifically for greatsword users because of all of those um, uh, the quick sheath, the um, uh, the critical eye. The constitution for your stamina, sp uh, speed sharpening, and uh, the bleed resistance, which is, which is great specifically for that guy. Uh, what else have I been using here is, let's see, um, yes, yeah, so that's the weapon I'm working on. I was farming Anjar Nath um, previous to that, so I had I had his full set. Um, so I'm curious to see what um, where else I'm going to go with this. Uh, Palico equipment, if we go down to here. Um, I'm using uh, Odegaran sword and no, sorry, Rathalos sword and Odegaran just because he looks badass. <laughs> and I think he, <laughs> with Palicos, I'm not quite as serious with the combinations. I, I just go with whatever looks cool with him. <laughs> but yeah, really, really impressive armor set it, for a great sword user, especially. Um, really struggling to think of what else I would use as an alternative at this point of the game like I said I'm about 29 30 hours in uh, I was doing a full Anja set before this the the primary uh, armor skills unlocking after three is uh is interesting so it's going to be curious to see what build combinations i'm going to be doing what my primary for the three unlocks is going to be and then what my supplementary are uh, supplementary is going to be for the additional two i have seen some in um again we're in early release at the moment but i've seen other players in early and pre-release with some very very interesting combinations um, so, but again, I'm a great sword user, so I'm focusing purely on that. I just want stuff that's going to help me with my power, um, with my sheave, with my stamina. Um, and this is, I think, is going to actually do me for quite some time. Really, really excited about it. And uh, I'll be posting some more Monster Hunter content as the days, weeks, and months go by. Leave a comment, let me know what you've liked early in the game, what you're currently using, what your primary uh, weapons are. Curious to see if people are doing different wep um, armor combinations so early in the game. Uh, let me know what your favorites are, if you have any questions, and yeah, leave a comment about anything Monster Hunter.